Okay. Um, okay, so maybe we can just say who we are first. So I'm Adrian. Adrian. Adrian from Life Church here in Edinburgh. Right. This is your building here. It is. And I'm Jordan, one of the location pastors from Destiny, Edinburgh. And I'm Colin from Community Church, Edinburgh. Um, Adrian, what's it been like for you, this, uh, this experience of having a turning in Edinburgh? Well, it's not a natural, comfortable thing for me when I was thinking about it, but wanted to be involved. Um, but from the first day, seeing people that had already pre prepared you mm. know, as you go out, I just found that amazing. I also really love the mm. fact that as churches, we've been working together with people mm. in, in random sort of ways. Uh, unconnected church people just joining together. And God's just sort of seems to have connected those people together in a really amazing way. Yesterday, I was out with, with a, a lady and she said, oh, I feel we should go to this particular area of town. And that, that was exactly where I would have wanted to go. So it was really sovereign. God, God's involved in it. It's brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, Jordan, what was the helpful sort of impact it had for you as a church? Yeah. For a start, from a day to uni, I think this new church is, is beautiful. I think it brings so much strength. But one thing that struck me was on Sunday in our service, so many of our regular attenders in the congregation we're talking about this, talking about going out and sharing their evangelism. There was a there was a bud a buzz around the church about let's go out and do it among people who'd mm. never actually normally go out. Mm. And for me that's one of the most exciting things. You know, like I shared earlier, one lady who was I went out with yesterday, she was terrified that she led someone to faith. And then later that night she was just at one of our robots classes praying with someone. Mm. So I think it's it's really creating a culture shift mm. in our churches and mm. I think that's just such a great thing. Mm. I think for me one of the things that's really impacted me is the, the need to be obedient to God in this. Mm -hmm. You know, something that Yinka said on the first evening, he said we were made to take risks. And actually it just really hit me that I haven't been taking risks. And I think a lot of us in the church, we haven't taken mm -hmm. that risk. We felt we thought we we got comfortable with the way things are. So I've been really challenged, been blown away by the simplicity of the gospel, mm -hmm. been blown away by seeing people who have not normally uh, led people to Jesus actually going out there and seeing it happen, just the number of folks coming to the Lord. And uh, I, I, I think the, the thing about the unity is so important because it's, 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 we, we, we knew each other a little bit before, but I think this has kind of mm. brought us to closer mm. together. And the worship together, I just mm. love mm. being together. I found it so replenishing, mm. worshiping together and, mm. and, and finding one another in worship as well as going out on the street. So it's not just been a job of work we're doing, but actually uh, coming together into Father's mm. presence. Mm. Anything else for you? That's well, just simply that all of us have had people that have responded to the good news have become Christians, in, you know, in in our, in our streets around where we do church, and that's just amazing. Um, I, just just people's willingness as well. They're just happy to go through that process and happy to give details, happy to be followed up. It's not what I expected, mm -hmm. but it's amazing. It's amazing. But this morning I saw someone, you know, leading leading someone to the Lord outside our building, <laughs> thinking, "Wow, they're doing this on our patch. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. It's happening it's everywhere, kingdom, isn't it? It's just yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's true. It's not our words. It's not how clever we are. It's just prove the gospel. It's yeah. beautiful, and it's the gospel that has been received. And it's the gospel that's doing the work. It's not us. It's yeah. just us sharing the word, and that's what's creating the fruit. That sense of anointing mm -hmm. has been really powerful. But you know, I felt, today I felt quite weak going out there, but I just said, God, your strength is made perfect in my weakness. Mm -hmm. I think we saw someone come to the Lord, pray for a few people. But like the last people, we, we just we, we only could pray with them briefly because they were on their way to a dying friend. Mm -hmm. And so we just said, we prayed for the friend, and mm -hmm. we, we didn't pray the prayer of faith for them. It was amazing that moment. We were in the right place at the mm -hmm. right time, and they were quite, they really thanked us for praying with them just in that situation. So it's been an amazing encounters with people mm -hmm. under the anointing. Mm, good.